So if I were really cool, I'd figure out how to animate myself as a Lego for this entire review. But as most of you who have met me know, I'm only pretending to be cool so that people will look at my website or will listen to my music or subscribe to my channel. All of those things, by the way, you should do right now. Watch Geek Theology. Lego Batman is here from Warner Brothers Animation, a solo movie for what I guess was the breakout character from the Lego movie of a few years ago. Now if you haven't seen the Lego movie which I recently bought, it is shockingly entertaining. It's fun, it's clever, it's just a great movie. The question is, is Lego Batman as good? Nope. Nope, it's not. So let's play good news, bad news. So Lego Batman is basically a parody of itself, overflowing with meta humor, self-referencing jokes, and tons of nods to pop culture. It pokes fun at superhero cliches, it pokes fun of Batman v Superman, it even gives the Marvel competition a shout out at one point. If you're a fan of the character like me and you've been watching his movies and TV shows your whole life, get ready for a crazy trip down memory lane. This movie references literally every Batman anything that's ever come out. At one point, this montage of like Batman villain shows up and I was like, is that Egghead? Is that King Tut? Is that the Condiment King? Really? There are tons of characters that show up in this movie. Not only from DC Comics, but from all over the place. Like Voldemort is in this movie. The Daleks from Doctor Who are in this movie. Like, what? Will Arnett returns to voice Batman and is joined by his Arrested Development co-star Michael Cera and Rosaria Dawson who's just like in everything now apparently. The visual effects in the movie are... well I mean it's... it's Legos. They're all Legos. Really cool in the Lego movie, but in this one, the novelty wears off pretty fast. Which brings us to the bad news. Whereas the Lego movie was clever and sophisticated and anybody could appreciate it, this movie definitely feels like it's more for kids. If nothing else, the pacing is like non-stop for the first like hour. It has that like ADD kid, we've gotta keep you watching, we've gotta keep you watching vibe. It's like joke after joke after pop culture reference after action sequence, joke. They're just firing them off at you so fast that there's a little bit of fatigue that sets in after a while. I also thought the movie was just plain too long. At 104 minute runtime, it feels like it's about 15 minutes longer than it really needs to be. There's this giant crazy battle sequence towards the end of the movie and you're like, okay, cool. I just finished watching the end of the movie. Nope. They fly off to do another one. You're like, Really? Guys, bottom line, I did enjoy the Lego Batman movie, but in my opinion, it's not nearly as deep or entertaining as the Lego movie was. But if you've got kids, have some time to kill, or you just wanna like, forget about politics for a few hours, here you go. And if you're a lifelong fanboy like me, there's enough nerd references and pop culture jokes to make you smile. I'm gonna give Lego Batman a seven out of 10. It's good enough for a weekend movie, and there's much worse things in theaters right now. I mean, there's a Fifty Shades Darker movie. Like, who asked for that? So it's time for Stuff I Like, where I tell you about something that I'm watching right now or listening to or reading that you should too. Warner Brothers Animation just put out an animated straight to video movie called Justice League Dark. At this point, the like big screen movie universe from DC Comics really might be kind of a wash, but forget about that because DC's animated movies are crushing it. Over the last few years, DC Comics has built a very respectable library of animated films. And in the latest installment, Justice League Dark, everyone's favorite hero, Batman, is led by Zatanna and John Constantine far out of his comfort zone into the world of dark magic. And though Batman is the poster child for the story, it's really Constantine's movie, who dominates the story and had me eager to see more of this character. And with great appearances from characters like Etric and the Demon and even Swamp Thing, Justice League Dark is a solid addition to what I consider to be the real DC Cinematic Universe. If you're into this kind of stuff and you know who you are. Rent Justice League Dark on Redbox or Amazon or whatever and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you like it, subscribe to my channel. And if you saw Lego Batman, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. I've still got a Rogue One review coming for you. I know it's super late, but I told you that I would. And in the meantime, have a look around my channel. There's a ton of stuff to check out and there's more on the way. Thanks again. I'm Gary Mitchell and we'll see you next time. Stay cool. Stay blessed. Stay in touch.